What separates Earth from outer space? The answer is given by the Karman line. However, there is still no consensus on how far it is from average sea level. Some scientists calculate that the border of the blue planet would be 80 kilometers from the surface, while others contemplate it at 100. Where is the Karman line? The Karman line refers to the place where the Earth's atmosphere ends and space begins. The name comes in honor of the Hungarian-American aeronautical engineer, Theodor von Karman, who during the 1950s sought to pinpoint where this important division could be located. The term Karman line was established in 1957 by the American lawyer, Andrew G. Haley. At the time, Theodor von Karman calculated that the line should be 100 kilometers away, since this would be consistent with engineering. That is, he suggested that the most reasonable edge of space would be near where the orbital forces exceed the aerodynamic ones. The International Aeronautical Federation agreed, years later, with Karman's proposal. Currently, this entity and others point to the Karman line as a region located 100 kilometers above sea level. However, the fact that the Earth's atmosphere does not end abruptly has given rise to other considerations about how far away the Karman line should be defined. This is a direct result of the nature of this layer of gas, which becomes thinner at higher altitudes and therefore has no definite upper limit. In this sense, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration and the U.S. military see the line at 80 kilometers as space says. The door of where space begins has been left wide open, inviting endless different interpretations.